Good evening. Not the right color feature to wear in the class. So you're going to be looking at my head the whole class, like loading head. <laughs> okay. Anyways, good evening. How are you? <clears throat> one, two, one, two. Jose Antonio, turn on your microphone. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Awesome. I just had dinner. What about you? Yes, I am. You're having dinner or you just you had dinner, right? I have dinner. <laughs> Okay, that's really good. Hey, the Eugenia Salguero. Present. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I know you're working in the attendance. Yeah. Hey, I heard, I didn't read the news, but I heard about regulations to uh, credit cards. What's there to say about it? But what? But the new law? Yeah, the new regulations. Mm -hmm. What happened? I haven't read. We're not going to be able to to you're not paying membership. Oh, but that, that's already in place. You're already doing that. Not with everyone. Mm. Okay. So that's a popular law, I guess. I guess. So it's a law for the population. Yeah, because I have never paid membership. Of course, it all depends on your records, on your standing, right? Right. How, how good customer you are for the bank. Makes sense. Then at the same time, we are losing some benefits, let's say. Because one of the benefits that I have is that if I go to the bank in person um, and I present my card, I can go to a special line, a VIP line, because of the line of, of the card, right? Right. At least. OK. Is that it? That's the only difference? There's a lot of difference. Really? Okay, I'm going to read that. I have to mm. read it. Okay, hopefully it doesn't affect you too much. Okay, how many are we? We are 14 already, so I'm going to do the attendance so we can start this class, people. Just find you first. I had a good day today. Good days, good days. Okay, oh my God. Today is Tuesday, <clears throat> Tuesday, December 14th. Can you believe it? 10 more days and we're in Christmas Eve. So let's go. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Mm. What's up, Doug? What's cooking? What's up, Doug? Where are you, Doug? She got disconnected, I guess. Okay, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Excellent. Carolina Ives Romero Avelino. Present. Yeah. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Excellent. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Uh, teacher, I, I have a problem with my... Your internet? My internet. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, okay. I I have a lot from 
the start starting the class. I trying to to enter. I was trying. We were trying to access. Yes. Oh. Until now, but even uh, I I can hear you well, very well. Try to turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. See if that works. Okay. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Excellent. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Alberto Salas Benito. Te Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Excellent. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Welcome. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Not here yet. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. Okay. <clears throat> Let's remember about yesterday for once. We're going to start with your book today. There's a lot to cover. Uh, so yesterday we were talking about perishable items, right? But at the end of the class, we talked about some grammar on how to um, adjectives to, quali to qualify verbs. So in other words, how do you transform an adjective into a, an adverb? And we gave some examples, right? Fast, fastly, quick, quickly. Consistent. Consistently. Uh -huh. Shy. Did you say shyly? Yeah. Fear. Mm. Hmm. I want you to keep in mind that there are other suffix. There are other suffix that you can use. Okay, and this is what you do. A suffix is just a small word that you add after the adjective. And that transforms the adjective into an adverb. Okay, we will see others. We will see others later but it's very important for you to learn about those. Look, Google it, you know, try to find uh, other adverbs, other adverbs, other prefixes, you know, suffixes, uh, you have prefixes and suffixes. So this, and, and they're very useful actually. Uh, if I just say less, you can say unless, there are many on, in, and, and so on, okay? We're gonna cover them later. Today, we're gonna move on with the conversation that was pending yesterday, just to remember a little bit. So we're gonna go to page 33. Let's see how Sara is asking Ramon some tips on the basics of inventory control. This. There we go. So how Ramon um, uh, answers Sara, right? Let's read the conversation and take turns practicing with a classmate. I'm gonna read it first for you so you can just listen to the right pronunciation and see if there's any new word, okay? Remember, you have to identify uh, the stress, the syllable stress, okay? How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory 
or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Repeat, stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L phone X. Don't do it. Now the L phone X is on stores. You will not sell much. Sorry, I ate that word. Now that the L phone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Ooh, okay. That's critical when you have to end up paying for products you can sell. Okay, any new words? You see any new vocabulary in this conversation, intermediate four? No. Okay, so no, no new vocabulary. Okay, let's practice for a few minutes uh, with your classmates and then I'll bring some of you to the front to we'll read the conversation, okay? It's gonna be a, a class where you have to speak a lot. Talk to your elbows. We are 18 now, let's do it. You can do it, you can do it. Come on, let's go. Okay, Wendy, let's go. Miguel Angel, if you hear me, let's go. Hi, we're studying English and learn every day. Someone have uh, the conversation? Okay. Who's going to be Sarah? What page is? Number 33. Can you see if the thing? Yes. And it is this conversation? Yes, it is. Okay. <coughs> okay. Going to start. Okay, I'm gonna be Sarah. Okay. okay. How right does inventories? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough product in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want to buy. When when they went when they want it bought. You don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have. Do it now that the L phone X is on a store, you will not sell much, not sell much. 
that's one of the problem with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can sell. And now you are Ramon. I will try. I have Sarah. I have problem with my internet, but I will try. Go Who ahead. Miguel. Okay. Miguel is working, uh, I think, or he, he's ah, driving, okay. maybe. Okay. Wait, Jose? Yes. Who with me? Uh, who with me? I'll be shut up. Okay. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking on investing in some new cases for L phone X. Right? Don't do it. Okay, don't do it. Uh, now that the Elphone X is on a source, you will not sell much. That's one of the problem with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there is a change in the market, you might in, end up paying for products you can sell. How does inventory management work, Ramon? Caroline? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. Want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it, to have it to have stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elphone X. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now that the Elphone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market. You might end up paying for products you can sell. You can sell. Okay, now I am Sara. Mm -hmm. Okay, how does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was I was thinking on invest. I was, I was thinking of investing in some new case for the iPhone X. Don't do it. Now that the iPhone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with the inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did. And there is a change in the market. You might end up paying the most products you can sell. Paying for goods you can sell. So. Okay. Okay. Now, right now I am Ramon. Someone can be Sara, Sandrita. Okay. I will be Sara because I, I already did Ramon. Okay, go ahead. 
Okay. How does it become it matter of one to the other? You need to have enough product. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Continue. Sorry. No, sorry. Okay. You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. Oh, well, I was thinking... Uh, sorry, sorry, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in the car in the same way expensive for the Earth and X. Don't do it. Now that the iPhone X is on storage, you will not sell much. That's one of the problem with inventory management. When you had too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a chain in the market, you may end up paying for products you can sell. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Let's see. Let me have Sandra. Where's Sandra? She here. Oh, here she is. Okay, Sandrita and Jose Alberto. Okay. Make this. Whenever you're ready. How does inventory management work? Ramon? Okay. You need to have enough product in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want it, but you don't want to, to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well. I was thinking is investing in some new case for the iPhone X. Don't do it. Now that the iPhone X is on store, you will not sell much. That's one of the problem with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you throw the, you could sell more than you did. Then there is a change in the market. You might end up Paying for product you can sell. Excellent. Okay, let's try to correct an area of improvement for all of, all this group. Uh, remember, final sounds is very important to pronounce the final sounds at this point. So you say does. How does inventory management work, Ramon? How does? How does? Okay. Does. EDN bins. Stored, stored, paying a lot of money to have it stored, to have it stored. Okay, be careful, it's not stored, stored, stored. Uh, I was thinking of investing, of investing in some new cases, cases for the Elfon X. Okay, problem, problems. Problems with inventory management, problems, thought, because you thought you could sell, because you thought you could sell, because you thought you could sell, okay? I thought, I, it's different if you say, I thought I said that, I thought I said that, I thought I, and that's like a Z-O-T, Z is in zebra, O-T, thought, thought, okay? Next final sound, chain, mm, chain. I started escuching this too much from various groups. Chain, mm, change, change, change. 
and there's a change and there is a change in the market. Okay, thank you. Great job. Jose Alberto, select somebody. Sandra, select somebody else, please. Andres. Jocelyn. I will be Sarah. Okay. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of, of investing in some new cases for the iPhone X. Don't do it. Now that the iPhone X, X is on stores, you will, not, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you had too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a chain in the market, you may end up paying for products you can you cannot sell. Good, interesting, very good. Okay. Let's repeat again. So of of of, of, of you blow air a little bit. So paying a lot okay. of money, paying a lot of money, paying a lot of money. Paying have, a lot of money, paying a lot, a lot of, of money. A lot of, a lot of a lot of money, a, a lot, lot of money. money. That's a lot of money. Today. Yeah, your Aguinaldo, your, uh, what is it? Christmas bonus, your Christmas bonus. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And again, store. Not a lot for me. Not a lot store. for me. <laughs> stored. Stored. Store. Stored. Store. You got it. Stored. Uh huh. Now okay. think about this, guys. The word not. Don't say not. Okay. You will not sell much. You will not sell much. You will not sell much. Although I will recommend you to contract every time you can. You won't sell much. You won't sell much. Sounds better, right? You won't sell much. Okay. You won't uh, sell much. That sounds better. Okay. Because you thought. Thought. Because you thought. Hmm. Let me make it easy for you. Thought. Go. There you go. Because you saw. You thought. Oh, okay. Because you thought. Perfect. You thought you could sell more than you did. And there is a change. There is a change. 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 Hmm. Okay. Homework. Josie. Homework. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it, Tracy Chapman. Okay, Tracy I will Chapman. take a screenshot. <laughs> yes. Tracy Chapman. The name of the song is "Change." Perfect. I will listen. Yeah. I si promise. supieras que el mundo se va a terminar el día de hoy y no queda de otra, cambiarías. Si supieras que ya no va a volver a hacer lo mismo, cambiarías. The whole song talks about change, change, change. <laughs> you can listen to it. It's very nice. Okay. In the market, you might end up, you might end up, end up, end up, end up. Pay. Okay. In the market, you may end up paying. Explosive. Okay. Yeah. You may end. Okay. In the right. market, you may. Sorry. Go, go, go. You Just... might. Okay. <laughs> In the market, you might end up paying. Might Thank you, Alexander. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Don't fight, please. Not in my class. Okay. No, Let's continue. Yeah, no, fighting. <laughs> no fighting, teacher. Okay. So what happened here? Why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? That's an easy question already. Why is it important to have enough products in your inventory, guys? To sell your customer when they want it. Yes, to sell to your customers when they need it, when they want it. 
thoroughly. Any uh, anything else? No. no. That's simple, right? You have to have product available at all times. Number two, is it a good idea to have an excess of inventory? No. So you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. To have it stored. Uh, Unless. Stored. Unless, Unless of the season. It's on the season. It's up on the season. It is on season. Yeah. Hmm. You manage a different inventory in those cases. In those, in those cases. cases. Those yeah. cases. Uh, can you break it down a little bit for me? you break it down a little bit better for me? For example, in Christmas, if you have if you have not enough inventory or excess of inventory, you are not to fulfill customers' needs. You won't fulfill the, the demand if yeah. you don't have a good stock of inventory. Because the, the demand uh, is increase. Increases. Increases, yeah. In that season. Okay, yes. so, so your point of view is that it depends on the product. On the product, yeah. yeah. If it mm -hmm. is a seasonal product, if it is a seasonal product. Huh. Do you think that people that sell uh, fireworks, do you think they have an excess of inventory all the year? Have you noticed how much product they, they sell on fireworks? Christmas. Okay, so yes, it's a good idea. It all depends on your uh, product, right? Depends on the product that you have in stock. What happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? Suddenly, suddenly, life has new meaning to me. Uh huh. What happens if you have an excess of inventory, you know, and market trends suddenly change? Mm -hmm. You have to create a new strategy. <laughs> I only have one student in the class. Yeah. Promotion. Oh, you have to throw a promotion? Hmm. I wonder something. Uh, I'm not a an specialist on sales, but once a very good friend told me he's a, a, a business owner. They sell tires. I told you about Elatsa so many times. I can remember. So he told me once, "How do you calculate the stock of minimum and maximums on your inventory?" How do you calculate the appropriate amount of stock of inventory? Well, you must play with the sales forecast. You know what is a forecast? Yep. Yeah, it's a pronostical, right? It's a forecast. There are weather forecasts, but in this case, the sales forecast, uh, although, with COVID-19 in our current pandemic situation, I think having a sales uh, forecast is more difficult, don't you think? Don't you think it's, it's more difficult? Yeah. You don't have how to compare. Okay. Let me tell you a brief story of something that I discovered this week. I'm not gonna say names, 
but a supermarket chain, a supermarket chain, bought, they bought a huge inventory. I mean, they made an order to this small company of clothes. They bought thousands of units of clothes and the unit price, listen to this, the unit price of this clothes was like $5, let's say $5 a piece, $5 a piece. That was the cost for the supermarket. One day, one of the workers of this small business went to the supermarket and found a piece of clothes and the price for each item was one dollar it was one dollar so she bought she bought one item just to see if it rang if it rang i'm sorry but if it rang correctly do you understand that ring rank okay just to see if it rang correctly you understand the term rank ring rank Doop. yeah Doop. like a alarm no, yeah to ah, check. yeah yeah when yeah. you go to the supermarket then they ring your items they ring your items Doop. 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 Scan. They scanned your items. So guess what? It worth a dollar. What would you have done? What would you have done if you were just a worker from your company and they are selling your product, your company's product, at you know a dollar more? <laughs> what would you have done? And you know that it doesn't worth a dollar. I mean, what's going on here? Right? What could have happened? What happened? Why were they selling a product with that price, you know, if the cost was much higher than that? Okay, I'll be more direct with you. I'm going to start choosing students. Ada, what do you think? What do you think about that case? Difficult, Andres, what do you think? I'm sorry. Guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Irene, what's on your mind? Um. If I understood well, you said that the cost of the piece is uh, $5 and the, the person or the employee found a item for with a dollar, it, the price is a dollar, right? In the barcode. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, you ask, about if this is correct or what happened with that product. Yeah. So the what cost happened? for the supermarket is $5 and you go to the branch of the supermarket and you find and the product branch. for $1. What happened there? Why is it that, you know, you buy a product for $5 and now you're selling it for a dollar? What is that? Could be a mistake or a strategy. A strategy. <laughs> strategy? You think that losing money is it a strategy? I don't know. In order, in order to hook people. Oh, to a hook up people. Okay. You think it's just a hookup? It's just a hookup. Yeah. And if you well, want to to rotate the product, you need to. Mm. You need to buy to sell it. 
doesn't matter when what how many dollars are you going to lose in that that product but, but you four, know something four, four you know dollar is a lot if if you buy it if you buy it if you buy a product for one dollar when several times before you have bought it five dollars i would I think they've been stealing my money all of this time can you because run that by, i'm sorry can you run that by me again it's that I, if you have bought that same product for five dollars several times before and now you buy it for one dollar i would think that they've been stealing my money all of this time oh whoa, whoa, whoa. customer satisfaction and, and i wouldn't and i wouldn't i wouldn't be i wouldn't be invited to buy it again for five dollars because yeah. i know the cost is lower yeah this is insane i mean this sounds like money laundry right yeah you buy something more expensive and you sell it a lower price you know, like what what's going on here definitely it's a mistake a mistake but not of inventory what do you think so many sure. things right mm -hmm. here maybe when the product is going to or near to to caducar, how do you say expire? Oh, no, 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 uh, we're, to we're talking about clothes. But, yes, but the clothes, if you have stored it for a long time, the mm. clothes started to degrade, you know? And then okay. maybe you sell your previous sales is, is uh, an amount enough to cover the cost that you are uh, losing right now, I think. Mm -hmm. It's like an, an average of the, the, the- An analogy? The profits. Hmm? Uh, yeah, that sounds interesting. An, an, a profits analogy. That sounds yeah. very interesting. Yes, once I do it. Wow. Wow. Okay, risks you have to take. No, but this is a real case scenario, you know. This is a real case scenario. They they were placing orders with huge amounts of products. And suddenly we found we found those those pieces on the supermarket for a dollar. So we were thinking, hey, we should buy it, the whole inventory, you know, as customers, we should buy the whole inventory and resell it. Oh my God, it was shocking. It was really shocking. So I don't know what happened in the end. I'll find out, tell you later. Next, let's match the words related to inventory to their meaning. What's stock? What's inventory tracking? What's POS or point of sale? What is restock? Restock. What's spoilage? Spoilage. Par levels. Par levels. And we already know this thanks to Luis. First in, first out. Or FIFO. Okay. What is a software system used to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries? Hmm. Replenish, replenish with fresh stock of supply or supplies. Re replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Items with expiration dates like food or even cosmetics, cosmetics that can become routine, routine or unusable if not sold in time. The, older in, the oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. Merchandise, merchandise kept, kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. 
last the amount that should be available at any time for an item. When an item falls below par, <laughs> it is replenished, replenished. Okay. Then we have to choose five of the terms above and write a, write a sentence for each. Okay, so you're gonna write five sentences, use whatever grammar tense you want to use, okay? Why don't we use adverbs? Why don't we use adverbs, okay? Fastly, mm -hmm. rapidly, slowly, okay? So we have activity four and activity five on page 34. Okay, got it, Wendy, not a problem. Okay, let's go in groups. This is page 34, exercise four and exercise five. Let's get together right now. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Good. Okay. To see, I guess that we are going to match first. Yes. The first one, a software system used to keep record of inventory level, order sales and deliveries. For me, is POS. The number three, what do you think? I don't know if it's number two, but uh, we can read all the the options and then we can decide so much better. For me, the number two is the time it place where a retail transaction is completed. The time and place where transactions completed. Software could be number three or number two. Which one? Uh, a software system. Software this is system. point of sale for the inventory tracking. Software system. Let me check this more. Storage. Which is the interior of <clears throat> the oldest inventory items are regular assets. But for example, spoilage, spoilage could be items with expiration dates like food or even cosmetics that can become rotten or reusable if not sold in time. What do you think? Is that Spoilage. Uh -huh. But I don't know. Spoilage. And first in, first out. 
could be the oldest inventory items. No. Yeah. It's a merchandise kept in the world housing available for distribution. This stock. Restock could be replenished and stored with fresh stock or supplies. What does restock? Ah, uh, restock the number four. Mm -hmm. Stock. The time and place will take a transaction later. By a stock could be merchandise keep kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Yes, for me, it's number one, two. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one that should be. Our, our levels, maybe, is the amount that should be available at any time for a, an item. When an item falls below bar, it is replenished. Plus, part level. Part level. But the inventory target. Okay, uh, what is the other? Maybe restock? Yeah, restock. Um, first end, first out. Uh, do you have any idea for the sentence with restock? Our main part of this is ending up. We need to restock. Um, sorry, I can understand. In that sentence, I can hear you very well. Uh, let me see something before. Maybe. <clears throat> okay. What is the sentence with restock? We have a very limit stock. Mm. A very limited. Limited. ED, ED, yeah, mm. limited stock.
Or we could say we are running out of our star product. We need to restock. Yeah. Agua, are you wearing? You are too quiet. I'm, I'm trying to understand this term, but I don't, uh, a little difficult. <laughs> okay. Mm. The system of inventory tracking is in maintenance. A sentence with a spoilage. The oldest inventory item I recorded. Es deterioro. Replenish with fresh stock or supplies. Es spoil. Es Spoilish. Spoiled. Spoiled. Can you repeat it, Irene? Spoiled. Spoiled. Mm -hmm. No, the sentence. <laughs> I don't, I think I don't know. Um, Crippling is the second sentence. Uh, you, we can say we need to keep meats in refrigerators to prevent foliage. Yes. Missing two Uh, with the stock, we haven't made it here, right? Inventory tracking. Tracking. Inventory tracking. Break. 
Puya, más que una gripe, viejo. No, hombre, cuando gripe también estoy jodido. What? <risa> ah, perdón. Ah, me estaba desahogando. La gilisa, entonces. a good inventor. Teacher, I have a question. Yep. Uh, when you was talking about the the world change, what is the difference when you mentioned uh, change or changes? Changes. Mm -hmm. Changes will be the third person or the plural. But the, I have experienced the, I have experienced so many changes this year. Okay. Changes. It's, it's it's the depends on of, of the word. Yes. Changes is for an action or a third person. Uh, uh, change is for a plural or, or both. the word. It's both. It could be a verb or a noun. It but is, the pronunciation is depend of the it no. is an no, it's the same you can, pronunciation. Ah, the same. You can pronounce it in, in, two, in the two ways. You can pronounce, you can pronounce, change, changes. He changes every time he sees her. Okay. Uh -huh. But he, he has experienced many changes this year. Uh, it is correct to, to, to say he changed. He no. changed. He no, changed. he changes. Oh, it changes every year, yes. Okay. This changes every year. Good thought. Good thought. Is a verb or a noun? It all depends on the context. Who is typing? You are you are writing right you are typing a, a letter for someone or an introduction of a, a job. Mm -hmm. 
or work or task, homework. How do you call that when somebody is doing something? Estoy escribiendo con... Ah, I forgot the word. Una parte de la película. Escribiendo con... Escribo con... Ah, firmeza con... There's a word. Fervor. ¿Ah? Como con fervor. Ajá, con... Fuerza. Ajá, es un sinónimo de fuerza. Se escucha así como que está pica pollo. Yeah, a, en la película le dice George Clooney a la actriz, van en el avión y está escribiendo uh, en la laptop, en el avión. Y ta, 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 ta. ¿Estás escribiendo o te estás desquitando con la computadora que tu novio te dejó? Le dice. Y ella le dice eso. Sí. Yo escribo con determinación. ¿Qué película es? Up. Up in the years, up in the years. Volando alto se llama el si quieres aprender a, Si quieres aprender a despedir a alguien, ah. despedir a alguien en dos minutos, es una buena película para entrenarte. <risa> up in the years. El trabajo es estar despidiendo personal en todos los estados de Estados Unidos. Es todo el tiempo andan volando. Happy. Uh, up. Up. up in the airs. Up in the airs. Volando alto. Se le pusieron en español nada que ver, ¿verdad? Volando alto. Ok. Let's go back. We have to do the attendance again. Ok, before doing the attendance, antes de hacer la, la lista, necesito hablar en español por un minuto. Eh, dentro de poco ya va a terminar el módulo, entonces seguimos con la misma rutina. Ya les van a enviar la invitación para realizar la encuesta de satisfacción. Como en todo curso de Insafor, se les va a pedir que llenen la encuesta de satisfacción de nuevo. Por favor, no realizar esa encuesta hasta el último día de clases, acá en la clase, lo vamos a hacer juntos, ¿verdad? recordarles que pueden terminar todos los ejercicios de la plataforma hasta el examen final, si lo desean, si no lo han hecho aún, algunos ya lo hicieron, se les agradece, eso es muy importante, no solo para pasar el módulo con una buena calificación, sino que también me están ayudando a mí para ir agilizando el cuadro de nota final, que es lo último que me piden para cerrar el módulo, y que eso se envíe en Safor. Eh, sus documentos para el próximo módulo, supongo que ya todos lo enviaron. No sé si hay alguien que se haya quedado atrás con los documentos. Primero Dios que no, ¿verdad? Ya está todo listo para poder arrancar pronto en enero. Les invito a que no tiren la toalla, tienen exactamente ocho meses para finalizar este, este curso y graduarse de un nivel avanzado. Okay. Uh, muchos de ustedes ya tienen muchísimo, muy buen inglés, ya no, ya no se les detiene. Y pues bendito sea Dios que este módulo, el módulo anterior también no se ha hablado español para nada. So, very good. Eso dice mucho. Okay. Sí les invito a que suelten ya la lengua, los que casi no hablan, a que se equivoquen, porque si no, no, no van a avanzar. Es muy importante. Entonces, la encuesta hasta el día viernes. Durante la clase la vamos a llenar. Déjenme revisar algo rapidito. Ya reporté los errores de la plataforma. De hecho, me puse a revisarla yo mismo y todo tranquilo. Viernes 17 de diciembre. Se nos pide estar atentos a revisar la encuesta juntos. 
Correcto, sí. Ok. A las 9 y 10 vamos a estar realizando la encuesta el día viernes. No faltar ese día, ese día es sagrado. Apartenlo para su clase de inglés. Ok. I'm just going to do the attendance. So we can move on with the class. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina Vivet Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Irwin, could you stay 10 minutes tonight? Yes, I can do Thank you, thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, sir. Sure. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present, sir. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, sir. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Yes. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Ah. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Yes. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Throw me your examples. What did you get? I want to see your examples or just read them to me since we're, our main task is to speak in this class. So tell me, give me your sentences. Check this out. Check this out. What do you mean, check this out? <laughs> I'm going to read it. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Alex, go. It's long sentences. It's a long sentence? It's, yeah. No, no, it's not. Okay, should I start, teacher? Yeah, you're my guest. They carry a large stock of computer software. <laughs> it's stock. Yeah, stock. Make your stock a lot of computer software. Make up stock. Okay. Let me see. Go ahead, Alexander, read it. When you should arrange your products first in, first out, in order to don't get spoilage. 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 Okay, who wants to help me? To bear with that stone. <laughs> Okay, who wants to help me correct in that sentence? You should arrange your products first in, first out in order to do not get spoiled. Not to get. Sorry if it's John. Uh-huh. In order not to get spoiled spoiled spoilage spoiled i would have said spoiled okay let's see you should arrange your products first in first out in order in order for them not to get spoiled to get Spoiled. Let's see if this is right. Okay. 
Next sentence. Come on, guys. Spoiled. Spoiled. Uh -huh. Next. Our supermarket, a good stock of the liquor for the Christmas and the New Year's. One more time. Our supermarket. A, stock of, a good stock of the liquor for the Christmas. Okay, I don't need the articles. So the supermarket has a good stock of liquors. And Christmas. For Christmas. For, Christmas. for, for Christmas. Christmas. The supermarket has a good stock of liquors for Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Of liquors for Christmas. Ocupo el artículo the cuando quiero ser bien específico. Our, our supermarket has a good stock of the best mm -hmm. liquors in El Salvador for Christmas. Okay. It was very specific. I used the. Okay. Job. William. William, give me an example. Uh, you need uh, to have a good inventory tracking to streamline processes. Mm, I like that. That sounds nice. It is nice. Okay, select someone else, William. Okay, uh, Suleima. Okay, uh, the system of inventory tracking is in maintenance. Hmm. Our inventory tracking system is in maintenance. Our inventory tracking system is in maintenance. It's in maintenance. Mm -hmm. Again. Sorry, Sule. Can't hear you. Wait, wait. The our inventory tracking system is in maintenance. That's better. Good job. Can you select someone else? Um, Judy. Hey, Judy. Yeah, Judy has. It. Okay, long time. Uh, the company bought a new software to have efficiently the inventory tracking. To manage efficiently the inventory tracking. To manage efficiently the inventory tracking. Awesome. You got it. Okay, let's keep it up. So we had uh, to match the terms before writing the sentences, right? So I, I really, I really want to have this clear because I can't remember anymore. I'm too old. I'm too old. I'm becoming 40 next month. I can stop thinking about it. Okay, so stock. What's a stock? Merchandise kept in a warehouse. <laughs> available for sale or distribution. I only have one student in the class. Perfect. Well, What's number two? <laughs> uh huh. A software system used to keep a record of inventory levels, order, sales, on deliveries. Inventory tracking. Do we all agree? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What's number three? Somewhere else. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Complete. Yes. I use this every day. Every day. And I'm going to tell you why really quick. Uh, este término se ocupa muchísimo en el plenio de negocios para el que yo trabajo de tarjetas de crédito o débito porque así logramos identificar si la tarjeta 
fue deslizada en un POS, un punto de venta. Entonces, si fue deslizada ahí, físicamente, I'm so sorry, pero alguien ocupó su tarjeta físicamente con el número de PIN probablemente y... Yeah. So, that's really difficult. Okay. What a shame. <laughs> What a shame we cannot recover your money. I'm so sorry. Okay, next. Restock. Replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. Ooh, very good. That's number four. That's number five. Spoilage. Eating with expiration days, like food for even cosmetics that can become routine or oh, unusable. Unusable. Or, unusable. Unusable if not sold on time. If not sold on time, if not sold on time. Excellent. And I'm missing number six and seven. What's par levels? Keyword. <laughs> uh huh. The amount. The amount. Excellent. Yes, that's number six. Therefore, yeah. Go ahead, Alex. Read it. Which one? Six. The amount. The amount that should be available at any time for an item when an item falls below par or it is replenished Re replenished. replenished replenished there you go good and fifo the oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first FIFO. FIFO. Yes. first thing first time simple right good job good job it's not difficult let's go with the next topic on your book we're on page 34 okay We already discussed how, uh, what are three reasons why a company needs to have, why a company need, um, needs to have an, an effective inventory management. Can you mention them again? Three reasons why a company needs to have an effective inventory management. Number one. Exactly, backlog, backlog. Not being able to distribute your product because there is not enough stock for your customers. Okay, number two. We already mentioned many reasons why you need to have a good stock of inventory and good management of inventory. Number two. Uh, do you prepare the product picture? What? Uh, the product to avoid the, the product from expiring to avoid the product yes expiration on the product if it is a perishable item and number three one more exactly you need to know how much money you have on your inventory Part of accounting, you need to know what's okay. Let's go with today's topic. Okay, design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. Design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. Okay, how can you design an effective inventory management system? What do you plan? What are you going to do? Which products should come to the front? Which products should be in the middle? Which products should go at last, you know, all the way to the bottom? <sighs> Recently, I had to buy tires for my car. And I found a good deal, you know, I paid like $50 for each tire, new tires. But during this discussion, you know, My father-in-law, my father-in-law is very special in that sense, let's say, because he had, they had a, a microbus, you know, in El Puerto de la Libertad, and he used to drive the, the microbus, you know, the little 
van or whatever. It was a part of a route, you know, in a puerto. The thing is that he learned a lot about mechanics, you know, and all that stuff. Manias, you know. <laughs> How do you say manias in English, Google? Okay, so misbehaving, let's say. The, Let me check. Yeah. Okay, so the thing is that he learned that close to Mercado Belloso, around a very antique church made of laminas, you know, very old. Uh, Manias is like tricks. Tricks, all the tricks and gigs, yes. All the tricks and gigs of being a, a driver. So the thing is that he discovered this warehouse it's a whole warehouse with worn tires, you know, used tires. And they sell the tires for about $20, let's say $20 for a half-life tire. But it called my attention that he said, okay, si usted va ahí, mire, tiene que llevar unos cinco pesos en la mano y hacer el baboso que está ahí ordenando el inventario de llantas y de... Ah, papá, aquí está para el jugo, para la soda, está trayendo unas cuatro llantas de allá al fondo, igualitas y bien enteronas. And he said, you have to tell him that trae unas pechugas. So he will understand and he will, he will become a... Right. He will become a... <laughs> uh -huh, a monkey. He will become a monkey and go all the way to the back of the inventory and bring the tires. Because he wants the money, right? So that was so funny, man. It's a blackmail. Like, uh huh. So the thing is that I didn't go there, you know. I, I wanted new tires on the car. The thing is that uh, it was funny thinking about how these people manage their inventory. I mean, can you imagine? Have you ever seen one of these warehouses full, you know, fully stocked? of tires all the way to the back. How do they know where is each size? What do they do? They don't use a computer system. Mm -hmm. Come on, ideas. It's not a perishable item. Touching them. <laughs> what? Touching? <laughs> Touch him then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have they have this blind guy in the entrance and he goes touching. Oh, this is one, this is two. Okay. Four tires. There you go. Based on the expertise. <laughs> on the expertise, experience. How experienced? What gives you the experience, by the way, Alexander? What gives you the experience? Working every single day in the same position position okay to become knowledgeable no yeah yeah tenure if you're a tenured person in a company you are knowledgeable you have a lot of knowledge okay so how do you organize an inventory how do i calculate the right amount of inventory to stock how do i determine the right price for my inventory this is very interesting as i was telling you the amount of sales uh, the, the sales forecast is what will give you an idea of how much to have a, of a product. And as Alexander just said, only having the experience of how long. Okay, accountants, William, something. How long is the right period to say that a company has some experience? What's the amount of time, the period, to say that I have experience already? Mm -hmm. Okay, nobody's talking, so I'm gonna have to choose someone from the audience. Mm -hmm. Always seeing people talking. Wendy, are you there? Carolina, are you there? Irwin, Irwin, why are you so quiet? Sandra.
Irene, Jocelyn. Tell me, teacher. Okay. Um, how long do you have to have, you know, as a company to be experienced, to say that you do have the experience to deal with your inventory, to say that you are right? How long does it take ever since you started your company to say, oh my God, I have the experience now to move on? Well, eh, I guess that experience is getting um, through the time. We cannot identify how long it will take. Maybe it can be one year or some other company it can okay. be early eh, or some other can be can take more time, I guess. It could That's be my idea. shorter or longer. It could be shorter. It could be shorter or longer. This or is longer. in the of the man or the also the the person who is in charge. The person who is in charge. In charge. Yes. There you go, charge. Yeah, you're right, Jocelyn, it's true. It's one year, one fiscal year, one fiscal year, keep an eye on that. I can start my business and Luis, correct me if I'm wrong, William, mm -hmm. one fiscal year goes from January to December, right? Is that correct, Irene? I just saw it in his face like, mm. what is considered a fiscal year? January to, to December? Uh, it's a uh, 360 days. It's a, 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 a fiscal year. In accounting? Account. In accounting, a yes. A fiscal year is 360 days. Okay, so. Another question, if I start my business on June, if I start my business in June, I'm sorry, in June. Okay, I just have to report six months and then start all over from January to December. I guess teacher is in a, a, a year, for example, uh, 2021, you need to close their uh, fiscal exercise. Yeah. And then we start with uh, 2022. It's per year. It doesn't matter when you start with your, your business. Mm -hmm. That's my point. Okay, so from the accounting point of view, one fiscal year will give you the idea of how to manage your inventory, how to manage everything in your company. It will give you a little experience and you will start, you know, not making the same mistakes over and over again, hopefully. hopefully. So how do you calculate the right amount of the inventory stock? Based on your history of sales, creating a forecast. How do I determine the right price for my inventory? We talked about pricing the inventory before, remember? Setting the price of a product, right? Based on the cost. Are we clear on that? Yes, okay. So since this is our topic, I'm just gonna split you for five minutes. Let's use these two words now. Make sure you speak, guys. You have to talk. We're almost done with your module and you need to create a conversation with your classmates. Don't stay quiet. Let's go. You start your vacation the next Monday.
or you still working next Monday? Mm, maybe, maybe next Wednesday, but I don't know yet. <laughs> It's a top okay. secret in my workplace. I don't know why. Okay, look you. <laughs> and what about you? I I'm not sure. Maybe in January. Oh yes, I remember about your trip. My trip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's start because the teacher is getting angry with us. Yes. <laughs> you are too serious, teacher. What happened? No, I'm just listening to you. That's my job. But why? <laughs> I, I will never get angry, guys. I never. listen to you because it's my job. Perfect. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. It's a joke. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> how, do you, how do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? I think is with your work orders. Your purchase your... orders. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it depends on about your demand or your sales history. Yeah, or maybe you... the season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it depends. It depends yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. For example, um, I have the to, kind of product. I ah, yeah, yeah re... the kind of product and the season. Uh, I have um... to request a security paper. So mm -hmm. I, I, I made the, requ the request in order to the, the amount of, of document that I have to, to, expedition? Expedition. Expedition, expedition. Uh -huh. uh, Expiration uh -huh. date. Expedition, uh -huh. document that mm -hmm. I have made in the last month, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's why you need a forecast, right? Mm -hmm. To calculate the right amount for your inventory. Mm -hmm. I think the easier way is to use a moving average. Maybe yeah. the last four and six months, Month. you will make a forecast with that information. And maybe mm -hmm. what um five percent more? Mm -hmm. It depends uh, the margin. Margin mm -hmm. is margin. 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 Your, uh -huh. your your margin for the um, peak. Sorry for my. I think is you need to know the the cost first. The cost that you need to in uh, the, everything that you are going to the cost of the product. Next, you need to know what is going to margin that you want. Raw material, no. Raw material. It depends the the product. Just because you can't have raw material or how do you say producto terminado? Uh, final product. A final product. Mm -hmm. Because you can have both of the, those, both of those products, raw material or final product. But at the end, the price, the cost, Thank 
Okay. I think that that was good enough, right? Let's go back. Okay, that was easy, right? Let's keep going. Now we have a conversation on page 35 for this part of your, what am I doing? Wait, where are the others? We are 19, yeah, we're back. Okay, so listen to me carefully. Um, try to mimic, try to mimic the pronunciation, okay? and watch the video later if you need to identify new vocabulary. That's the whole point. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. First step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet, spreadsheet, and record notes there constantly, constantly. I'm so sorry, consistently, consistently, consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages, the packages by labeling, by labeling inventory properly, properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately, 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 accurately. In the right spots, in the right spots, so that your employees, your employees can find them easily when needed. One more time. Now you know, and look here, labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Can you do it? Let's go with. Where is the meaning of the scrap? What's the meaning of? A scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, any piece of paper. Mm. Like and a spot? Spot, a place. A place, mm. a specific point in a space. So if you change your job, for example, or you go to another office, Olema, and your boss tells you that's your spot. That's your spot. Yeah, please. Okay. okay. Any other? Uh, the pronunciation is labeling. Labels, labels, and labeling. Labels, labels, labeling. Labeling. Labeled. Labeled. Labels. Mm -hmm. 
You got it? Accurately. Accurately. Uh, accurately. Yep. accurately. 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 Here you go. Accurately. Okay. Let's get together and practice this just for five minutes. We come back. See who made it good, okay? This is page 35 of your book. You do it. You can do it. Let's go. Let's read a book. Bob done with my business. Maybe you can start with uh, Jorge and Ada with Susan. Yes, okay. Consuelo, you are Jorge. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep not on any scrap on paper, George. The first step to implement and organize inventory management system is getting all or your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend that you do, do this in a spreadsheet and record not there consistently. Consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. No, you know. And look, the, look how their levels are falling on packages. By leveling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, now um, maybe Ada, you can start with Jorge and I am Susan. Okay, I having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice upon about inventory management. Management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages by labeling inventory properly to ensure that your product gets stored. An organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet in record notes the consistent. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know in look here, the labels are falling off the package by labeling inventory. Mm. It's your, your turn, uh, Amy. Okay, I'm starting, right? Yes. I'm having a, a bad time with my business, Susan. 
I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you to to I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I, re I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages by labeling inventory properly to ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when they when needed. You were mentioning the word there consistently. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, William. Okay, I when... have a bad time with my business. My business, Susan. I need some uh, some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you this in a spreadsheet in the record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Record. Record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much as much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurate, accurately in the right spots so that your employees, employees can find them easily when needed. Okay. Okay. Teacher, I have a doubt. Yep. Maybe you can help me. Um, I I guess there is a different pronunciation with record and record, but I don't I can remember what is the meaning depending of the pronunciation. That's just two meanings. The yeah. world, the world Guinness record. And it's a register. A, yeah, that's a good record. That is a good record. Okay. Hey, let's record this message. Let's record this message. So as an action, it's record, record. <laughs> if you hear, when I come here, it says yes. recording in progress, recording. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as a noun, is record. Okay. Yeah. Okay, get it. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Good question. It's a good question. Nobody thought about it. It's a good mm -hmm. one. Okay. Let's go back. Thank you, guys. Okay. Okay. 
Luis, Luis just made me a great question and it's very important if I need to emphasize this. Uh, what's the difference between record and record? Record and record. What is that? What's the difference? Record is a file or? A record. Okay, information. And record is that you're filming something. Recording. Oh, so one is an action and the other one is a noun, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, I keep record of your grades. We keep record, records, we keep records of your grades. Okay. It's like, it's like present and present. <laughs> Uh, no, no, just noun and verb. A verb is record. Let's record this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Recording in progress. Recording. <laughs> okay. But the world Guinness record, the world Guinness record. Got it? That's the way it is. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do the attendance one more time. I'm staying tonight with Irwin just for 10 minutes. Ana Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, good night. Good night, Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Wait for me. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Hey, B. Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present. Good night, everybody. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Algueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Good night. Roberto Luis Humaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night, Leima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, good night. Good night, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present, good night. Good night, and Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, good, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, take care, guys. Good night, good teacher. Night. Oh, come on. Good night, good night. Judy, did I mention? Did no, I mention you Judy? didn't. <laughs> oh, my God, really? That's weird. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Thank you. That's good. Okay, Irwin. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks, God. What about you? Tired. Uh, Tired? Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I had a problem when I when I go to my house. When I go out at the business, because I think I will begin at eight o'clock, but I got like three minutes, two minutes all the time. You were late? Yes, in, in, in for example, yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday, I was in my home at 8.41 at night, 8.41 minutes. I, the computer turned on at 8.41 minutes yesterday. And today, told me about the, I am late, no late, but I had to be in my, I had to be, what's up? I must know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, how are you, teacher? I'm doing good, doing good, thanks for asking. Hey, I wanted to try something out with you. Um, Let's, Remember something really quick. Um, let's talk about your routines and then we move it to another tense. So for example, uh, let's talk about your daily routine. Keep it 
in simple present. Don't use nothing else, just simple present. Remember, the structure is very simple. You just need a subject, a verb, and the complement. Okay, so if I say, I take a shower every day, I go to work, and I work from to, okay? So what's your daily routine like, Irwin? Work, work, work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's keep it this way. Okay. Let's say I, the verb, I work. Mm -hmm. In my business. The whole day. Okay. Perfect. Ah, teacher. So you talk about the, the inventory, the inventory, yes? Huh? Yeah, we were talking about the inventory. The, 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 the tiles. Tiles. The tiles in the downtown. Or tires. Tires, yes, the downtown. So, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember? yeah. But when the problem, the problem, you, you can have a, I've been told it, but not necessarily have a system, a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can okay. use it, the cardex. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, do you remember when you study cards? Yeah, when you study cards. I hate, like, I uh, hate the, the cards. I know. Yeah, okay. At the high school. But the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the gardens is the grandfather, the sober now. Okay. Exactly. Cardex is the grandfather of the new software technologies. Yes, it is true. Is that the way you do it now? Are you still using a Cardex? In my company, I have some some product, some product I use the Cardex. But many years ago, you don't have an office, office system office. You can have a, a easy system office with Excel. Mm -hmm. But the card is it's okay, but you have to be a control. It's the most important to have a control. Mm -hmm. To have a control, to have control. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> that is so. I, I, okay. will, I, I, will, I will tell about this one. Because listen, uh, listen, repeat the, yeah. inventory. Inventory. Perfect. Inventory. Inventory. Now what what happened here? Not necessary have a system. We're missing okay. something. Teacher, not necessary to have a system. Teacher, it is I guess sorry, 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 sorry. It's, it's not necessary. It's sorry. not necessary to, to have a system have a system, to have a system. Many years ago, we don't have of an office. Okay, what's wrong here? Many years ago, we didn't. didn't. You know it. Yeah, Many yeah. years ago, we didn't have an office. You got it, don't worry, you know it. You have to have control. You must have control. You must have control. Yeah, you must have control. You must have control. You must have control of your inventory. The cardex, I didn't like the cardex. My wife, my wife uses the cardex for our finances, for our finances here in the house. You know, she always do a, she always does a, a cardex, you know, on Excel for our money. Oh my God, oh Lord. okay. I don't like the cardex. <laughs> I don't like it. It's a but when you have your money, the card, whoop, you love the card. Yeah? Because your money will be lost in the future. Yeah. The next, yeah, it's a, it's a good problem. Yeah, teacher, it's yeah. a good problem. 
it's so difficult to manage your money, your personal money. Yes, your personal money is a good problem because the your money will walk alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it is a good problem. Yeah. It's a big problem. Your money will yeah. walk by itself. Yes. Yeah, do you know? Just today, today I spent I spent seventy dollars today. I I bought I bought the steering wheel. Oh, okay. For the original, the original steering wheel for the car, and that was forty. That was forty dollars. Oh. Um, I bought two more pieces for the car as well, and I just came home because my steering wheel was a Momo, a Momo steering wheel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it broke. Look, oh. yeah, it got broken, you know. So it had three yeah. little, three. Three legs, right, on the on the wheel. So one of the one of the legs broken. So I was like, it was mumbling, you know. So I had to change it. It was urgent for me to change it. So I look it up on Facebook. I went to Santa Tecla. There was this guy selling a lot of parts for Volkswagen. So I just bought him the steering wheel the two speakers on the back, you know, on the, on the trunk, you know, how, how the golf, the golf car has two, two speakers on the back and, and a small piece of plastic that goes on the steering wheel on the mount. You know, there's two plastics covering the, the steering wheel. So it was good. And I installed it, I installed it and I installed a new Pito, you know? Yeah. So now I have a Pito. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it was amazing. I love working on the car, you know. That's my hobby. Yeah. yeah. What's your What's your hobby? Do you have a hobby? Don't tell me it's your job because no, 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 no. Ah, uh, teacher, I, because I had a good problem seven years ago. A good problem. Um, I on these guys, I. Make for example, yeah, for example, yesterday I visited uh, I visited La Fiscalía. Yeah. Okay. Because I have one case. I give you one example. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one example. <laughs> I have one uh, one uh, the man to, to where I work it. Yeah. And I have five fiscal. Think of Cali. Five or six. And I don't know why the the name in the Salvador is Auditoria Fiscal. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. yeah, they just uh, the last week gave my email that I had to be in a Auditoria Fiscal in the Fiscalia. I yesterday I went to the fiscal. Only for to told me. That the five fiscal they change one fiscal change the other fiscal change the other fiscal five change. They only told me that there are the possibility the fiscal are subordinate. Uh, five five fiscal yeah. Five it's That's very bad. Yeah, for this one. I work so hard and I have a business for the for the for, the, for my last book. For this reason. Yes, it's, 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 I don't have a hobby on it work, but I love the work. Only that. Okay. Yeah, it's, work. it's so easy. Five um, figures. My last bus, I know how how uh, how work. I know, I know working 50 years, 20 years, I know. Yeah, it's a good problem. Okay. So, Yes, yes. Awesome. Okay. Well, everything was going to be all right. Just be positive. Be positive. Everything yes, is yes. going to be all right. Okay. Hey, I'll see you soon. I have to go around there to repair the electricity on the car. Okay. Again, I'm going to go with Ever. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the night. Good night. Okay, bye. Bye, teacher.